All right, welcome back to another episode of Red Girls Want to Play Through in Nightfall. We are level nine. We have a couple more primary quests to do to finish Istan. I'm hoping I will be able to do the next mission in this episode. Honestly, I'm kind of missing my mesmer. I'm being I'm being very honest with you. I've learned a lot about the dervish in these little in this little mini series, but I'm I'm looking forward to getting back my main mesmer playthrough so we're gonna get through this i'm gonna try not to rush through most of it but i would like to finish through istan in the next two or three episodes if possible so we're doing this primary quest signs and portents we need to have in, in most of these quests once you start getting heroes you need to have like it'll tell you like mandatory hero required hero costs i think this might be one of the first quest that we need mandatory heroes like this and we're gonna get a new one milani part of gandara blah 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 <clears throat> um let me talk to the sun spear scout still using this build i actually i wanted to i was looking at some of the henchman builds the uh dervish henchman build and interestingly enough uh i was gonna like try and copy the available hint dervish henchman's build but all of his skills are not available yet or at least nine like almost all of his skills i think there was one skill that i could get uh i think i need to go this is right I need to go this way uh, i think there was one skill that i could get um but yeah i can't really i can't even really copy his build because He's using skills that are not even available to me. I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not really sure if he's using better skills, but most of his skills only become avail available to the player once you get to the mainland of Elona. My volume's a little high. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies here. We got the bug. The bug bounty bug bounty oh uh, unfortunately i have to go through these plants would be better What's this guy doing It'd be better if i had a plant bounty i think now we're fighting scale we over aggroed for sure get some health up Ooh, purple cane like we're gonna wipe here that is par for the course over aggroing like crazy dang yeah nightfall nightfall is probably the biggest um difficulty jump when i started this playthrough in nightfall i was thinking yeah this would be a good a good place for the a new player to start now i mean i i think part of the issue is i'm playing that's a nice staff or uh that's a that's a really good low level cane actually huh um but now that i'm a little bit of the way through it i i think this is pretty difficult for even a, for a, for a new player especially but i was about to say even the i think one of my problems is i'm used to playing with my overpowered uh mesmer and this is kind of what the this is what the real play style is supposed to be like for most other classes mesmer is is pretty much easy mode i'm starting to discover firsthand if you disagree with me that's fine if you disagree but we're being we're being honest to ourselves and to the game. Mesmer's easy mode. Come on. Who's with me? Does extreme control, extreme damage, unblockable damage. Or armor piercing. One like totally armor pierce armor ignoring damage, I should say. And then just shuts down casters, shuts down melee. 
didn't say I didn't say Mesmer is the easiest, but it but it's easy mode in the sense of its its skills are just so effective. It does take some skill. I will say that. Because to a new player, it's not exactly obvious how much damage you're doing as a Mesmer. Playing Dervish though, you see these numbers pop up, you're like, whoa, I'm doing so much. It's true. But I feel like I feel like Dervish is a little bit of a glass cannon, at least at these levels. Maybe later on I can I can get tanky. Become a little bit tankier. I think there's um I think as we saw last episode, there's a there's a dervish boss. It'd be really nice to, to get a green scythe from this dervish boss up here. It's not really farmable that well because it is kind of far away. But if we get lucky and get a green dervish scythe, that would be excellent. That is an upgrade. Yeah, that's the highest damage we got. I like to look at that that dusk built dusk blade scythe looks very cool. Where is going on here? Iron tooth. Oh, Hatuk. Ah, Hatuk's our our guy. I was like, oh, I'm running around earlier. I didn't know he was he was with us. Here we go over aggroing again. These guys are only level three. Let's go after this guy at level four, level eleven. Go. And that blader. It's interesting. Some of the enemies are level eleven. Some of them are level three. Quite a mix. Okay. What's there? I thought there was a boss over here. There he is, Beba. That's the dervish boss we fought last episode. Something. Wow, that disease is just taking my all of my health down. A little bit of health down, Koro. That would be excellent. Couldn't think of another skill for him. I need to get another I need to put another skill on my Don Coro build. Boss is running um pretty decent build here. A sever already artery gash combo, classic. Putting deep wound and bonus damage while uh improving the armor of his party. Let's get our energy up. Oh, it is up. Okay, let's just go. It's minus eight. Kind of a problem, though. That's some good damage. Nice. I really, for some reason, I really thought he was going to drop a green item. That would have been great. Did get the plus, uh,. The, or the the remove some of my death penalty very nice so let me get a flamingo get a little pet action here level three he's gonna die right away because I don't have any comfort animal <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Any pet recommend pet name recommendations for a, fl a flamingo? Let me know. I'd be happy to. I'd be honored to use your name recommendation. Flamingo. Any famous flamingo characters in any movies or TV shows? I can't think of any. Here's Milani. 
Oh, there's no Sunspear Scout here. That's weird. Lindru blesses my steps, but my heart belongs to Korna. I'm a dervish of the Sun Spears, and I know this land better than anyone. Those who threaten my country, like Varesh, Osa, and her minions, shall regret doing so. What did Koss say? It's been a pleasure to see that scythe, darling. I'll start Koss's serious Varesh. Osa's generals are asking questions on Nightfall. Cormier found something to connect with it. Take your tour. Yeah, he said darling, so I can't. I, I guess they're like. There's some relation between them, I think. Let's see. Here we go. My flamingo. Dang it. Photo bomb. What do you know about this Milani? Milani? Known her since we were both children in Corner. You're from Corner? Yes, the estate's north of Gandara. Milani is from Ranjak, a small village to the west. She's a sweet girl, but always thinks she's right. I also have very good ears. Milani, I didn't see you there. Observant as always, Kos. I'm glad you're both here. I believe the War Marshal is up to something. War Marshal Varish? I doubt that. Don't you find it odd that she came in person for a simple trade mission? With her generals? So Varish is a hands-on leader. I think you're jumping to conclusions. I think you're just not thinking at all. Ah, I see you two do know each other. My apologies. Though with Koss at your side, you'll need real help. And if Milani's advising you, you need me more than ever. Okay, so they're childhood friends. That makes sense. All right, what do we do now? We travel with Milani to meet Cormier. We got just gotta go over there. We've been there before. Let's just go back. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do a mission after this. It's been a long time since we've done a mission. We did like two episodes in a row. No missions. Like, first ever. That's one thing about factions and prophecies. It seems it seems almost like you're going just mission to mission to mission. A few times in prophecies you need to you need to do some side quests and um running to get to the next mission area, but generally, especially in factions, it's just like every next area is a is a mission. A couple quests that move the story line uh the story along but so far in nightfall mostly exploration and quests which is probably one of the reasons why they put those speed bumps they wanted they wanted players to do more explorations and quests but yeah i don't know i've ranted about it enough Is Milani with us right now? She is, but she's not interesting. She's not on our, she's not on our party list. We are first spear still. Man, my mysticism being... What level is my mysticism at? Level 6? Gives me 5 damage reduction from foes with less health than me. That's pretty massive at low level, isn't it? We're level 9? Makes us very tanky, actually. I'm to take back what I said about Dervish not... Or Dervish being a glass cannon. Whoops. Did not mean to cast that. The three seconds on Troll Unguent is a little 
a little long. Wait, here we go. Gotta go around here. Storm Chaser, very good against these elementalists. Get that energy renewal. It'd be nice to get a, a zealous scythe that gives us some energy regeneration on per hit, but I don't think any low level I don't think any low level um scythes will be zealous. I I'm pretty sure zealous is a is a max level uh max item. What am I trying to say? Max damage weapon mod only might be wrong about that but i don't i don't remember seeing any vampiric or zealous weapons that were not max damage ruins like this ancient wall or all that remain infused another cutscene a lot of cutscenes in nightfall here we go This looks bad. It's just some old inscriptions. I hate not knowing what they say. These come from earlier times, from before the Scarab Plague. A scholar could decipher them. I don't know any scholars that would want to come out here. You would be surprised. What's that? It's one of the excavation workers. Yes, but look at him. I would like to change my opinion to this looks very bad. Reminds me of the afflicted. Someone's carving runes into people's bodies, though. That's pretty sick. Weirdo on the loose. All right. Is this a mission now? Big Master Gata. See what you got for us. Alani joins the party. 15 Sun Spear points. That's pretty big. Not much gold. Yes, this is mission area. Okay, let's bring Milani now. What's she using? She's using Mystic Sweep, Vital Boon. Mystic Sweep is pretty nice. Heart of Holy Flame and Imbue Health. Let's get her some new skills. Like uh we'll give we'll put chilling chilling victory on her as well. She has Heart of Holy Flame, that's good. Vital boon, not bad. She's using Scythe, Mysticism, and Earth. And what else can we put on her? Um, since he's using Earth, let's put Sand Stars on her. Very high energy, though. She's only got 25 energy. Nope. Um, we can do Pious Assault, I guess. Same one that we're using. This is pretty good. Radiant Scythe. I think that's an. I think that's an Eye of the North spell, though. Mm. What are we doing? Put the same one on her. And then... Pious Assault. I'm going to be doing similar combo of what we're doing. Try and, get, try and have that higher uptime of burning. I do 3 seconds of burning. She does 2 seconds of burning. Maybe it'll be good. Alright, I'm also going to bring... Um, I'm going to get rid of Storm Chaser. I'm going to bring Comfort Animal. Where is it at? Do I not have it? There we go. And we're gonna go beast. I wanna have my 
I want to have my pet do some more damage. We need something to heal us, so I'm going to bring Wind Moon Sweep instead of Chilling Victory. Let's bring one more enchantment, such as... Don't... Yeah, I'll just do it. There we go. All right, let's do it. Not a very good build, but we're low level. This is the second mission of Nightfall. Am I right? Yeah. Cormier. We get a level 20 Cormier with us. So that's good. This is right where we left off. So we're, we're trying to uncover some evil ancient ruins. Level 4 already. Nice. That leveling up fast. I should have... I shouldn't have used... Let's see. Let's think about our skill order. Yeah, this is what I want to do. So Pious Assault is going to remove Heart of Holy Flame and Twin Moon Slash is going to remove um, Vital Boon. But whenever I remove Vital Boon with Twin Moon Sweep, then I'm going to get like tons of health. That's like that combo gives me lots of healing actually. And then Intimidating order Aura and Vital Boon. Look at my max health. Almost 400 health. That's awesome. Not bad. If I had a weapon that gives me extra health, that would be even better, but we don't. That's the only problem now is I don't... My, my build is not very energy heavy. But it is a little bit adrenaline heavy. Not the best situation. I need to get Heart of Fury up ASAP. That was like 160 health healing right there. What weapon is she using? She's using... She, hers is better than mine. What is that? 9 to 18? Give me that. You can use... You can use what I'm using. There we go. Nice. Thank you, Milani, for the scythe upgrade. Look at that damage. 9 to 18. Hitting like a truck now. Look at that. 60 damage. Uh, why did we go? <laughs> we went in a big circle. Where am I going? Uh, I think I need to go up there. I was kind of just following the enemies. Or I go this way, maybe? Yeah, it looks like I go this way. Not totally clear. Yeah, there's some enemies up here. Never seen anything quite like these markings. What did this do to... What did this to the diggers? Not say, but I'm certain we'll find their killer in the ruins. We'll find it and we will destroy it. Trees getting in the way of my camera angle there. the right way maybe I do not know <laughs> I 
I like having a pet. Flamingo's just kind of kind of a little bit goofy, but it's pretty cool. That was some massive damage. They're actually dropping so fast that I uh, can't really get any attacks off. This doesn't look right. This is a dead end. Yeah, this is a dead end. Oh, I was right. I need to go. Oh, I can go across this bridge, can't I? Yeah, this is the this is the right way. It looks like there's two different ways. I could go up and around or what I'm doing now. A pretty cool scenery. Let me get a picture of that real quick. All right, let's go. Took a little quick screenshot for the thumbnail. My party, there we go. Level four. I wish we could see I wish we could see experience bars of our of our um teammates. I'm gonna leave my party up so you can see what skills are using and like the skill skill order and stuff. Double strike is not bad. He's one enchantment. All right, I remember this. There's like smashing blocks that come down. Got to be careful. Keep access to interchange. Oh, and I think this, I think this bonus requires me to put my teammates on avoid combat. Because there's like some sun spear ghosts. Yeah, I remember. Hmm, I should have brought some cripple. They're chasing him down. Yeah, they're not catching him. He's too quick. We'll be forced to take it from you. I remember this. Should have brought Cripple. I was talking, I was like, uh, kind of commenting how Cripple is very useless, but here's the situation where it is not. What, what is that? Madness Dart? Minus one health degeneration for 10 seconds. What's doing that? There's some booby trap, I guess. Right, he's coming this way. Take him out. Oh, that was easy. And now... Where's the pedestal? Oh, those things are shooting. I see. Any stone pedestals? Dang. 
Here we go. It's not right. Probably up here. It's probably right up there. The map. Right there. Here we go. Stone pedestal. Hold the alt button. Whoops. Hold the alt button and you'll see stone pedestals. Alright, here's the bonus. Do not harm any sun spear ghosts. It says harm, but I think it just means do not kill any sun. Oh my gosh. I was reading. Alright. That was rough. It didn't give me any um, death penalty, so that's good. We need two tablets to open the next one. Do not end on the battlefield. Come, we must find stone tablets. Yeah, so I'm gonna try my best not to kill them. Let's set them to avoid combat. Hopefully Cormier doesn't attack. Yeah, Cormier automatically attacks. She's the one who told us not to harm them. On me. And then she just goes into the flames. What's your problem, man? Yeah, massive healing. I love that. So we're with with the healing that we have and the max health that we have plus the healing that we have we're very tanky now tons of sustain and not too bad on the energy usage i think i'm gonna drop so there's one stone pedestal there. i think i'm gonna drop one of them here and then i'm gonna get the second one over there I'm gonna set Dunkoro to avoid comp. No, he should be okay. There's four of us, so we kind of need him to attack a little bit. Ooh. 80 damage on that. Let me lure these guys over. So far, it's pretty easy to avoid this Sun Spears. might get harder as we go why am i doing like zero damage okay not zero but there we go that's the damage i was looking at doing let's go 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 oh you don't it's not really super necessary to set it to um avoid combat whoops however um Hanging my heroes away is necessary. Okay, we got both stone pedestals. I think there might be one more area coming up. And we'll be at the end of the mission. And then there's one more mission after this, and then we'll be finished with Istan, I believe. Ooh, Cormier uses incoming. That's such a great skill. It's a really awesome skill for PvE. Ooh. Did I fail? Okay. That's that ghostly sun sphere came out of nowhere. The trial of perseverance. What's this one? We're here to destroy what lies with the inner chamber. Stand aside, Spectre. The inner chamber is sealed with good reason. Others have come before you, but the evil of the apoc apocrypha. What did it say? If you truly oppose this apocrypha, you will help us destroy it. Please, our enemies are the same. Let us work together. 
Ooh, I'm almost level 10. I need your protection. So this one, we need to protect him. Guard Kadash while he plays his Dawn. I don't think there's any more Sun Spear, though. Ghostly Sun Spear, that is. Heck yeah. That damage. Uh oh. So I don't want to stay too far away from him. He's traveling super, super slow. Traveling super slow, so I don't want to get too far ahead because maybe I need to keep my eye on him. A lot of times if you get too far ahead of the escorts, they just stop. So, what I don't want to happen. I'm going to salvage these bones. They're worth lots of money. If I can get at least 10. Here we go. Salvage this bone staff. Yeah, if I can get 10, that's like... That's a lot of gold right there. Pretty easy to get a lot of gold in Nightfall, it seems like. Like, level 10 and we're already over a plat. I guess all of the quests do give pretty decent gold in this... Yeah, we'll get Beast Mastery up. Okay. Oh, Milani's level 9 now. Let's get her scythe up. I remember correctly that boss it changes um it changes its skills like it'll go it'll change from or it changes professions uh depending on uh i think it's random and then he'll use a skill and then it changes to another one so he'll switch between like warrior and elementalist to monk not too scary But it can trip you up a little bit. I might have totally made that up also. So let's check that out. <laughs> let's see if I was right or wrong. If my memory serves me correct, correctly. Who gained a level up? Cause. Awesome. Oh, he got that. He got his 15 attribute points. Nice. So probably at level 10, they get that extra 15 attributes. And probably, I'm guessing, level 20, they get the the other 10 attributes. Oh, let's take out the ads first. They're level 10. He's level 13. We'll do that. can't believe my Flamingo hasn't died even once. Yeah, so he's... I didn't get a chance to look at his skills yet, actually. Ankoro, you're welcome to come over here. Stop getting attacked. Oh, so it's a, it's a, a dervish now. Reforming. And then he's gonna change into... Mesmer. So I was right. He changes, he changes his classes. He's got elite skills. If you had a signet of capture, can you capture those elite skills? Probably not, right? And use clumsiness. Now what is he? He is a paragon. 
Now he's going to be warrior. Oh, back to Dervish. So he changed from Dervish to Mesmer to Paragon. Finished it. Here we go. Report, General Morgan. You are correct, War Marshal. The Sun Spears have been recruiting and training new leaders. We will need to increase our own forces as well. With respect, Farish, the Sun Spears serve all the Alonian provinces. If they serve all of Ilana, why are their headquarters here, in Istar, instead of Korn? Your father taught me to trust the Sun Spears. My father taught me to do what is necessary to protect my land. Varish. General Kayer, you are dismissed, Morgan. War Marshal, we are not finished here. Prepare for our return to Corner. I shall join you shortly. Really nice voice acting, I think, in Nightfall. He is a loyal old fool. What news, Kayer? The Apocrypha has been destroyed by the Sun Spears, but not before I gained what we needed from it. Praise Abaddon. Praise Abaddon. Oh, Prepare so they know they're serving Abaddon. Need, I didn't realize that. Nightfall comes. Yes, my teacher. Nightfall comes. Got that master's reward. Zero Sun Spear ghost harm. Dang, that's like, how much, what was that, 4,500 experience? We're already almost a level 11 now. Excellent. All right, so now what? Who do we talk to now? Let's sell some stuff. We need to find the next, we need to find the next primary quest. Isle of the Dead, this is it. Right? Yeah. Seek out Narashi squad. I think Narashi is later on a henchman. So I think we're I think from here on, once we get to Isle of the Isle of the Dead. Down here. I think this is Isle of the of the Dead. I think we start to get to level eight or sorry, eight party groups. That'd be sweet. All right, uh, this was a pretty good episode. We finally got to do another mission. We are got some levels. We got Milani, the next, um, our, our newest addition to our party. So it's going pretty well. Um, next episode, we'll do Isle of the Dead and hopefully get to the final Istan mission. I think there's one more down here. I seem to remember there being one more. We need to we need to track down Varish and stop her. You know what I mean? All right. If you like this episode, leave a like and subscribe. We are getting closer and closer to back to our Mesmer. And if if you are missing the Mesmer, my Mesmer uh, playthrough, uh, you're not alone. I am also missing it. So I'm gonna try not. I'm gonna try my best not to rush through everything, but I am looking forward to getting back to that. As I said earlier. So anyway, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.